guys. Welcome to Top Drives with Angry Jack. All right. Um, so we haven't even looked at this game for a while. I am just completely fed up with the game. The game is absolutely pay to win. You know, I, I guess you could play and play around a little bit, but you know, um, you don't have much fun. And maybe I'm just a miserable kid in heart or whatever the case is. All right. So they have daily, um, they've ch done a lot of updates. You can see everything is different from the last time we've been here. Um, they have daily rewards right now. So that's what we're looking at here. They, um, you get cars that you don't get to keep because you have no space in your garage for, you know, for anything. Um, so this video is turning out well already. Um, my anger is showing, you know, I, I try not to be angry, but, um, you know, this this game is uh, is was completely ridiculous, I should say, and and um, I I kind of have a surprise for you guys, but we're gonna hold that for the uh, for the next video. But um, you know, the playability was was um, you know, it, if if you if you're not if you're not able to buy gold be, because um, you know, you don't get large quantities of gold from the game you don't get large quantities of money from the game to upgrade your cars um you know from just from doing the regular campaign and then if you don't have certain cars it's as if you can't even compete if you don't have cars it takes cars to upgrade other cars when you don't have space in your garage to keep extra cars to upgrade your cars to begin with you don't have money to upgrade your cars to begin with what we're looking at here was the final straw for me they 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 did that they had an update a few months back where they changed the rating of a few cars that car used to be a c car that lotus there and they changed it to a b car in the middle of me upgrading the car this the car was supposed to be my savior for me to to help me beat the final boss in um the final Monaco race. Now, I'm not even complete. I'm not even um. What would you call it? Complete. I haven't even completed the uh the camp all the campaign races or whatnot. But the game allows you to um to um challenge the bosses even without you know finishing all the the levels of the campaign. You just have to do a certain amount of races in each stage. And, and you have you're eligible to race against the boss and then that that kind of helps you with the game to progress through other levels or even the same levels of certain stages and when i'm just scrolling to my garage to show you what my garage looked like right now jam-packed no space available all right but but before i lose my train of thought um you know so what we do is usually we, we go through we, we beat the boss get a car and you know you go back and you compete with um as you know so you could finish certain levels so you could get three stars for all your levels and stuff like that you know, but um they apparently there's a secret formula to upgrading this one particular car and it, and it, it end up being on the back of another lotus a silver lotus which i didn't show you guys but you guys probably know what i'm talking about and um you have to upgrade it a certain way basically you have to put you have to max the the body weight and you have to max the um the grip and that apparently is the optimal build for that car most people like i did put most of um the upgrades into the the power of the car making the car quicker zero to 60 and um and um you know and and, and it, it kind of changes the, the overall um, outcome of the car, you know, the overall stats of the car or whatnot. Um, and doing it the wrong way basically um, prohibits you from beating the final boss. Um, that, you know, and um, so basically, and, and um, the final boss, this is the stage I'm at, he has a, he's holding a McLaren. I think we just saw the McLaren on the home screen just now. If you can't get the McLaren, it, it it, that's just another car that that hinders you from being even more competitive in the game um you know when it comes to far as far as events and stuff which is one of the things we're looking at right now so um, i think we're looking at the mg event for the new update that they just had they're having a special mg prelims event and uh, of course i don't have any mgs i don't know if it's because i just haven't been playing the game or what the case is uh, because usually when they come out with um 
for example, our few Porsches when they came out with the Porsche update, they're very they're they're usually some sort of way good at get you getting your hands on a couple of few of the cars you're going to need. Um, so anyway, so I haven't been here. I wasn't here for the MG update. So apparently, I probably missed a few free things that they had going on. Every once in a while, they do some free things. Um, but money is completely hard to come by. It's very hard to get your hand on. Get a hold on money. Um, you know, it's, it, the game is kind of frustrating. You can see the, the money I have here, $10,000. is nothing at all when it comes to trying to upgrade these cars. When one part could cost you anywhere from 1000 to three, four thousand $4,000 just for one upgrade, a single upgrade. And the car takes like um, about nine upgrades, not including um, the, the in-between stages of where you have to um, fuse parts and whatnot, if you're familiar with the car. Um, that silver Lotus right there on your screen, the Lotus Elise Sport 135, we actually just put it into our hand just now. That that's the Lotus right there. If um, that if you if you fix the stats a certain way, it performs a little way, or whatever. So, anyways, long story short, so we're gonna we're gonna play a few hands of the game today. We're um gonna do um I think two two events we're actually gonna participate in, and um the best part of the game for me is sitting back, you know, matching up some cars and watching the cars go around the track a little bit. So uh, I hope you don't mind, you know, uh, just sit with me while I go through and do that. Um, so right now we're just going to take you through the matchups. Um, you're not, it's not going to be a long process. I'm just going to show you what the final matchup was, what I decided the matchup should be. And the longest part of the video is probably just going to be just going to be us watching the cars go along the track, which is the best part of the game to me. Um, but you know. It, it, it sucks because the game is a beautiful game, the cars are beautiful cars, but you, you just don't have the opportunity to um, to expand your garage like you would want to, you know, um, the, the game really pushes or forces you to have to spend real money to, you know, to keep, um, keep your garage going to be competitive. All right, um, all right we, we kind of edited that one a little bit. Um, Cut the race short. That was a mile long race, and a notification came on the screen that I thought was pretty good. So I thought I just cut it off. And, uh, there was supposed to, there was going to be a draw race, anyways. All right, so um, so here we go. Just this is the best part of the game for me. Sitting, just watching the cars run around the track, and, you know, matching up, seeing how you did. There's so many um different you know characteristics of the car that that could help the car win characteristics to the track whether the track is dry whether the track is a dirt track or you know if, it, if it's wet or there's snow or whatever what kind of tires your car is wearing um of course the, the car's overall performance zero to 60 body weight and grip in overall you know so it, it, it's fun matching up cars and whatnot for me usually if I place anywhere above the top 20, I, I stop, as I said, because my hand is not that competitive. And if you if you push too hard, then you start competing against the, the bigger guys who have the better cars. And of course, you're just going to start end up, you know, end up with start ending up with negative points at that point. So usually once I place above the top 20, I stop right there. I'll come back. I'll come back usually before the, um, the end of the the end of the event and see how I'm doing. If I if I fell, if my position fell, then I'll I'll compete again or and whatnot. Alright. Um uh, so, so here I guess I'm just kinda walking around the place, checking out some stuff. Um I had three cars in there, three extra cars. I'm not sure if I did show those to you guys or not. Actually, I think I did in the first part of the video. So here, here's an example of what's what going on. They, these are how you get your cars. And um, if you don't have the money, which is the game doesn't offer you many opportunities to make money to buy the packs. And if you don't have the gold, you know, you don't get the good cars, you know, and um, you, 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 you can compete for them. But then again, if your cars aren't in top shape, which you don't have the money or the goal to upgrade your cars, then you know you're not going to get the better price. So, so the so the better the people with the money 
gets the best prices anyways and you know it, it's just it's just perpetually perpetually you know feeding on itself the, the the best the best gets the best and the the those of us who don't have stay not having anything pretty much um it's about four hundred dollars to get purchase five new slots in the game you know um it's like fourteen hundred or something like no it's actually about seven hundred or eight hundred if you want twenty slots so i usually try to hold out for that and um so now that i'm back in the game i'm probably i'm just gonna be laid back i'm not gonna do the campaign too much you know um I think I have like one more video coming for you guys that, you know, like a, a big reveal, a, a big, I can't believe this happened moment um, where um, I got something special. So I'm going to share that with you guys in the next video. Um, but apart from that, I don't know where we're going to take this game. I, I can't do a playthrough because it's, I, you, um, I don't have space for the cards. Sometimes... I'm scared to keep going in the campaign because the campaign sometimes give you rare cars. You know, each, they, they, you might race a boss or a stage, a particular stage, and it gives you a rare car, and then you don't have space to put it. Every every single car in my garage right now are just cars. They might not be super rare cars, but it's like cars just I'm just in love with, and I want to keep them in my garage. And it's like for me, I rather just stop playing the game altogether. And have these nice cars in my garage and just leave it that way then keep playing the game and just have to keep recycling cars that you like and um you know is a possibility you could probably get the cars again later on uh, but it is it is it's just frustrating to continually you know have to you know continually dumping cars that you fall in love with you upgrade them you fall in love with them you like them you just can't keep them because you don't have the space you have to sell them or use them for um for fusing another car or something like that um usually my suggestion to you guys if you guys are playing the game if you guys are new to the game especially if you're playing the game you probably know all the secrets if you guys are new to the game my suggestion to you guys is that what you do is um have upgraded a car and you can't keep it anymore go ahead and sell it don't use it for fusing sell it because the game gives you money back on the parts that you have spent so you won't lose all that money you invested into the car you sell the car to the game they'll give you a little bit more money than if the car was just stock basically is what i'm saying and um and then you you hopefully find another car from that class that you could use for fusing material if you if you do need the space for your garage um, if you just need the space and you don't need it for fuse material go ahead and again sell it to the game that way um you know you, you get something back all right so here is a dirt track you know this, I, I just love this i just I, I hope you guys you know don't mind this is what i love sitting here and just watch the cars i don't know it's, it's repetitive it's the same thing over and over again but i just love watching a different car go down the same track and see how the car handles on the track how do you how do you go against your opponent you know it, the game is a beautiful game but it is it's just it's just unfortunate that um hutch is um you know money money grabbing on this game you know, a game game a game for rich folks right this one it is you know so um i'm i'm, I'm not able to do it now I'm not, i wouldn't say i wouldn't do it but i'm not able to do it to, to buy the gold to um to buy the extra cash to buy the car packs and whatnot so for me it's just um, it's just a game i'm not able to partake partake in all the um the beauty of it and compete in all the events and you know have the expansive garage like i would love to have the car this game has introduced me to cars i didn't even know existed in the world you know so and, and and that's what's unfortunate. I've, I've, I'm meeting, I'm meeting. I love cars. Um, I'm seeing so many cars. I'm seeing for the very first time, but it's like it's not ranked high enough. It's not considered a valuable car, whatever the case is. And, and then you just can't really, you know, do anything. You can't, you can't go anywhere with it. So here we are, sticking true to the title. Um, staying angry. I decided to let me try it one more time. I went ahead and decided to try it one more time. So this we are doing the. Um, uh, I forgot the name of the event that we are actually doing here. Um, 
I hope you guys are actually paying attention to what's going on on the screen. Um, it, 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 they have one event that's called like uh, Earth Lovers, and then and then another one is like anti anti Earth something like that. I, I, it doesn't make sense because it's a diesel car, and a diesel is actually uh, also a uh, uh, very um, what do you call it? Um, you know, a, 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 a Earth friendly car. Diesel it would be considered an Earth friendly car, but um. Here you have it. I decided to go again and realizing that you only needed four diesel cars, so you could have brought in a, a, a high powered car, petrol car. And um, you know, I didn't do that. I have five diesel cars in here. Uh, I was, I'm just like, um, like I said, I'm just coming back to the game for a while. You guys know that you guys have more from the channel, which reminds me if it's your first time here watching this video, go ahead and give me a subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. We are going to visit Top Drives again. Um, it's a game that we're, I'm going to try to keep around. I'm just going to nitpick and see how I could go at it, save some goal, come in, get the goal if I can, play some of the you know the events and whatnot, and, and see if I can pick up some goal, expand my garage slowly. It just it just hurts being left behind and not being super, being able to be super competitive like my spirit um, wants me to be. Right, so so we we lost this this. This race here, like I expected, made the video made the, the video title true. Just bolstered my anger, and uh, you know, so we lost this race here. So we, uh, this is pr pretty much gonna wrap it up for the video. Again, I invite you guys to subscribe if you're new. We actually watch this race here. We have a comeback. This is one of the things I love what on the track. So we we of course you know where the blue arrow is. That's our car. But watch watch us slowly catch him up in the corners and especially on the dirt. And uh, so he pulls away on the gravel. We're on the dirt again. We're gonna overtake him here and we hold them out all the way to the end. The little, little things like that makes it so beautiful. So we won that race, but we lost them. we lost the match overall. I think we were we were trying to hold him here. Did we did we win this race? Look at this one. This is another one, guys. It, I just love the cars going around the track. So consider subscribing if you guys like live streaming. Consider subscribing to my other channel, Jack in the Middle Live. The link will be in the description on this video here. Uh, this is the one I was thinking about. We lost on the cartoon track. All right. Um, but that's pretty much it after this video I'm gonna let you guys go I am there is gonna be a bonus clip at the end of the video of how I did in the um, daily battles because the other event that's going on is actually not over as yet anti-earth that's what it's called anti-earth day so it's earth day and anti-earth day um, but like I said it's, it's a diesel I don't know why they would call that anti-earth day but whatever all right so so I'm gonna leave you guys here um, Thank you guys for joining me. So this is just the um, how I placed in the daily event, right? Um, thank you guys for stopping by. I'll catch you the next time. Bye-bye.